Manchester United has not completely given up on Joao Neves and they are about to go into a bidding war for the young Portuguese international who is one of the hottest number sixes or holding midfielders in global football. Welcome to the United Hot Sport. My name is Webb. Let's get proper into this update. I know, guys, you're waiting for that confirmation that uh, Joshua Zaks is a Man United player. You want to know the results on the medical. There are some of you of little faith who think it's possible that this boy failed the medical earlier today. Well, I don't think so. But be sure, before close of business tonight, there will be that confirmation that Joshua Zaks is a Man United player because he finalized the processes of his medical. But let's get proper into what uh, is coming through. So Paris Saint-Germain, who seems to be an ally of Manchester United because they have been in talks for quite some time uh, over you know deals between the two parties for several players but here's the thing so paris saint germain according to the latest reports that have come through uh, have uh, placed a bit of a, a bit of 70 million euros for Joao Neves uh, to try and get him out of Benfica. Remember, Joao Neves is the hottest probably property on the market in this summer because every club you can think about, all big clubs, especially in England, have shown interest in this young Portuguese international who is only 19. Now, the reasons are obvious. We've spoken about him several time, uh, times here. I've said it here consistently that for me, he would be the number one priority of a partner to grow with Kobe. He's 19. Kobe is 19. They are all good. They've got Bruno, an experienced player, to keep around with them and try to help them with his experience. It is the perfect, perfect duo of a midfielder, uh, of a midfielder that would want to see him and Kobe. But Benfica want 120 million euros, which is about 100 million pounds. Now, Man United, according to reports, uh, placed a bid earlier for this boy of about uh, uh, of about 50 million uh, 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 euros uh, earlier. According to reports, that Man United did place a bid for uh, of about 50 million pounds, rather, 60 million euros for him, which was rejected instantly by Benfica. These are reports we saw earlier. Now, today. It is reported that Paris Saint-Germain, who have also been monitoring Joao Neves, who are still interested in him, apparently placed a bid of 70 million euros for Joao Neves, which, as you'd expect, knowing Benfica and their president and how greedy this man seems to be, they will turn it down. Now, here's the thing. The story with Man United and Joao Neves is this. First, like, guys, this video. I don't want to forget to remind you. It's so important if you do like these videos. And thank you so much for liking all the rest. It's encouraging. But here's the thing. Man United never gave up on Joao Neves. It is, they, they first checked Benfica by dropping a fee and seeing how they respond. And then they put it on hold because they know they have, these guys have, have an important asset who is extremely expensive. So how do we approach them to convince them to cut down on their valuation? United want to bring in Neves, probably even Ugarte. The fact that United might bring in Ugarte doesn't mean they can't bring in Neves. They, it's probable that they can bring in two players. Ineos clearly have a plan. But here is the thing. You are Neves and Man United and the bid Man United could place for him are partly dependent on how much money Man United will get from the sale of Casemiro. Because, and that's why the Casemiro deal is not obvious. It's, it's taking some bit of time. Because Man United feel that because Casemiro has had some years left on his contract, he still has some football in him without a shadow of a doubt. They feel a club from Saudi should be able to give them a reasonable amount of money on which perhaps they can look around from other resources and top up a little bit to try and bid for Joao Neves and Ugarte. So Neves, Man United's bigger bid for Joao Neves, of course, it's never going to be 100 million pounds. They are never going to match that because they, there is no way United is going to spend 100 million pounds on a single player, not in this summer. It's not going to happen. But they believe that if Benfica can cut down on their valuation of the player to about 80 million pounds, then they have a chance there of trying perhaps to push and get, let's say, 50 or even more than 50 uh, from a Saudi club for, for, for Casemiro. And if that happens, they can easily find resources and get the 30 million to top up and bid for him, then find ways of us getting Manuel Ugat as well. So that is uh, the, the, what, what uh, Ineos are trying to plan, at least from what I gather uh, from sources within. So it's, it's, it's a top, top, top priority. That's why United are not rushing when it comes to the number six. They feel if they can put together resources, and I've said it here consistently, the most important position for Man United to sort is the number six position. Because without a good number six, Man United will still struggle. Even if we bring Zach Z and Ivan Tony or whichever other striker we want to bring in and all these centre-backs because we want three as it is now 
if we don't get the right number six, we will still be uh, you know, exposed. So the plan is sell Casemiro how much money for as high as you can, then find ways of getting the other amounts you can top up to be able to get both your Neves and Manuel Ugate. That is what is happening uh, with the Amanu. So it's not completely done. It's just silent. But behind the scenes, Ineos are seriously working on this kid. Now, Benfica as well are trying everything in their means to spoil the party because they even feel that 120 million euros is not enough. They are not satisfied with the bar clause he's got. They are saying they want to offer him a new contract, which would mean an increased bar clause. That's what they are trying to do. This is what the Benfica president, you know Portuguese clubs and how greedy they can be. They overprice their player. You can imagine a player like Victor Gioqueres, uh, who is priced at over, I think, 60 million pounds. He's 26. He's, yes, he scores goals, but I mean, that's quite a lot of money for a player in the fringes of, of European football. But that's what we know them for. But usually the beauty about Portuguese clubs is that the way they nurture their talent, usually when they go to the Premier League, when they go to English football, they shine. It's rare that a Portuguese player will fail to shine in England. Not that none has failed, but if you think about it, they usually shine. It always makes sense. So uh, that's, I think, the confidence they have when they are hiking some of their players. So that's the situation uh, when it comes to Joao Neves. But PSG uh, placed their bid. Certainly it will be rejected. Will they go back with bid number two? Will Joao Neves want of all the clubs? Even Arsenal are interested in him, by the way. And we know that uh, we'll, we'll Arsenal who spent more than 110 million pounds on uh, Declan Rice, I don't see them honestly spending another 100 million pounds on the number six, on Joao Neves. Perhaps they could spend that, they should perhaps be spending that on a striker, who I think is the, you know, the, the, the more important player for Arsenal uh, that they should be uh, signing now. But going back to my man United, so that uh, that is where we are. Honestly, if United in this summer, I mean, we've signed Zach Z, we, we're pro probably going to get Lenny Yoro, we are going to get delete without a shadow of a doubt. It's a matter of time when it's confirmed. When uh, Jirax is officially confirmed, Man United will certainly uh, also move and you know make that bid and, and formalize and finalize with uh, Bayern Munich for uh, the Mathis delete. But if, for me, even if we only signed Joao Neves and Ugate, okay, because we might bring all of them and we're a bit advanced when it comes to Ugate. I think if we only sign a number six or even two, if we have to, even if we don't make any other signing in this summer, for me, it would be an extremely successful summer transfer window if we sign the right number six. If it's Ugate only, if it's, uh, but uh, Joao Neves, if it's Joao Neves, I think for me, the number six is an important department to sort because we are certain that Castro is going to leave. It's so important that we get the right number six. And I like the fact that Ineos are not rushing with it. They are taking their time they know how important it is because in the way we play the way we want to attack you want to be able to you want to be your attackers want to be sure the kobe's who have got a lot to add to the attack want to be sure that the person shielding the back line behind is solid and firm when you get that right person trust you me there will be more creativity from bruno he will commit more to the roles of a number 10 there will be more creativity from ganacho hoyland as a striker will be more lethal because they will open up, they will be freed. But with a weak number six, with a weak holding midfield, certainly players are going to, even attack-minded players, are going to have uh, you know, uh, that, uh, that instinct, a, a returning instinct, a defensive instinct is going to come at times because they will attack, but knowing, okay, conserve some bit of energy when you're attacking because you've got to go back uh, and, and support the weak, uh, you, you, you know, uh, holding midfield, the, the weak midfield defensively. So it's, it, it frees up a proper number six, N'Golo Kante, a proper number six, a prime Casemiro. When you have a proper number six, you will get the best out of your attack-minded players. That's it. That's the basic principle of football. So Ineos are being smart with that. So let me know, guys, in your view, do you think uh, we, we could sign both Joao Neves and Manuel Ugarte? Uh, do you think... Uh, uh, from what you, you see, from what you've seen, the money being spent by Ineos, uh, the players we're being linked with, the things we're trying to do, are you beginning to believe that Ineos really do have a plan in place, have the money uh, to go and bid for, 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 for uh, a world-class number six like you are, Neves? Give me your opinion in the comment section. But also, on a scale of one to ten, I would want to know how do you rate your Neves if you've watched him? If you've watched this kid, how do you rate him? 
and I might be here praising him and you're thinking, Kaye, don't tell us about this kid. He's not good enough. Well, for me, I would rate him at, uh, of course, he's a work in progress. If Kobe is, uh, if Kobe is eight, Kobe is close to 100, really. If Kobe is eight, I would rate you all at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my rating of your Nevis. Ugate, I'll put Ugate, Ugate at uh, about five or there about. It's about five. He's, he's not really a world class per se, but he's a good player for, for a number six. He's got a discipline that you need uh, 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 from a number six. So that's, uh, uh, that's it uh, for me. But of course, let's wait uh, for the other deals that are bound to happen later on today my name is web this is the united of sport uh eric ten Hag has been waxing lyrical about Ruth van nestroy about his mentality and how he brings the united dna back into the team that's one the mentality uh, having a player world-class striker like Ruth van nestroy proper legend of man united as part of the backroom staff certainly joshua zakzi and rasmus Hoyland are going to benefit a lot that's one two the standards are going to increase because Ruth Van Nistelrooy knows the standards of Manchester United. He proper knows the standards of Manchester United. So he's certainly going to uh, get these players to level up. They have got to step up their standards to the level we expect Man United players. So Eric Ten Hag was saying, but also uh, his genius, his understanding of the game, Eric Ten Hag was saying, was, uh, is, is impressive and impeccable. So we've got everything to be excited about going into the new season. My name is Webb. This is the United of Sport. Zach Z signed, is going to be signed, but he will leave a bit. He may not be part of any of our preseason friendlies, but because he has got to go and rest, of course, uh, then he will return fresh to be able to attack the season. My name is Webb. Like, share, subscribe, fam. Peace, love, and harmony. I'll catch you later.